All right, guys. So as you know, we we're on our trip to Europe, two week trip, and you know when we came back, I, I started thinking about you know what, what sort of things that we can put on a video that maybe could be helpful for you guys. So I figure let's do a travel tips uh, video on how to travel smart and how to travel safe. And you know it's fun because we we're watching a movie by I think Will Smith called Focus, and in it, you know he's got this big ring of. Uh, uh, pickpockets and thieves and you know scammers and and then it shows you the different ways people steal things you know especially targeting tourists so then they got me thinking about this video too so you know as we're going through the streets of you know Edinburgh, London and then uh, Rome and Paris we felt you know I felt uh, kind of safe in what we were carrying maybe because we were more informed and uh, we planned for everything so I figured if I can you know share these tips with you guys uh, maybe it'll help Anyways, I got a quick list here of how to travel smart and safe. Just three things. First thing, number one, is gear insurance. Make sure your gear is insured. You know, if if you're going to do this as a hobby and, and get serious into uh, your photography, everything's going to add up and it's going to get expensive to replace if it already gets stolen. So make sure you get gear insurance. And that, and that covers you, you know, when you're in the States and when you're abroad too. So State Farm has a, a good policy called the personal articles policy and it covers theft, loss, accidents, and pretty much uh, almost anything that can happen to your gear. So aside from getting gear insurance, number two is you want to travel light. You got to try to be inconspicuous. You don't want to stick out uh, bringing uh, unnecessary attention to you, you know. So when we travel, we pack everything in this backpack right here. So it's just a standard sack. You know, I'd ordered this backpack right off of Amazon, I think $20-30. Uh, and it looks like a regular canvas bag so that's the key you don't want to carry your big old gear bag that screams I've got expensive stuff in there right I mean you want to blend in as much as possible obviously don't put anything on the outside flaps just keep everything zippered up and one tip that, that I would recommend is get one of these carabiners and then when you zip up like this you can use this to lock it up. That way it's locked up and you know it takes a little more effort than someone just coming by and zipping up to get your stuff right as you're wearing it. What we also do is we have this little insert, padded insert and you can buy this off of Amazon too. And I'll make sure to share all the links to the things, all the products here so that if you wanted to you can get this as well. And you know, you've got, you know, Velcro dividers in here like a typical camera bag. And these come in different sizes that you can fit, you know, to your bag. So make sure you get the measurements right. Our camera that we use is the Sony A7. If you haven't seen the review that, that we've shared with this, make sure you uh, take a look at it. All the pros and cons of the camera. But anyways, it's a great travel camera for us because it's small, very high quality. And look at it. I mean, it's, it's tiny, right? That's the best feature. And then what we carry with us is our travel tripod. So, and everything fits in this backpack. This travel tripod folds down to 13 inches. So it, it goes back to, you know, tip number two, travel light. This one's carbon fiber. The particular model, it's the Suryu T1205X. And I love it because, like I said, it's nice and small and it's lightweight. I think it weighs under two pounds. Uh, we've got you know, our ball head on there. This is the Arca Swiss P0. And it folds up just like this. And it extends just like this, right? And it comes with a hook down here for uh, extra uh, balance. So the, uh, you can just put the camera back right up here and get more stability. And of course this goes down like that. Anyways, my rule or my tip for selecting a travel tripod is don't buy the smallest version or smallest model there is because those usually when they're fully extended are usually more flimsy and they flex a little bit not as stable a little tip over and then your whole camera will go so buy the next model up and that usually gets you a little more stability this is the comparison between the two tripods look this is our travel tripod this is our standard tripod this one's also carbon fiber but I mean you can see the size there's no way I can fit this big guy in our backpack. Not to mention the weight because you know when you're walking the streets 
every little ounce will start to add up. So this is nice. And carbon fiber versus aluminum. Um, at this size, you know, the weight difference won't be too much between carbon fiber and aluminum, but I feel like the aluminum will flex a little more at this size. So the carbon fiber will be more rigid than aluminum, especially at the, the smaller legs on the out, the end parts. And not only that, carbon fiber absorbs more um, vibrations too. This all fits inside. Look at it. It fits up. The camera fits in there. The lens fits in there. You know, our laptop fits in here, our 13 inch laptop. And it zips up. And as we're walking the streets, this is it. Nothing is sticking out. Nothing screams. Hey, I've got lots of expensive gear on me. I've just got random junk in here. You know, so make yourself less of a target and you'll be safer. When you're traveling light, right, you want to be able to have everything fit in your bag. But not only that, you've got to be able to carry it with you because when you're traveling, rule number one, never check in your gear. Have you seen the videos online where um, what, what happens to your baggage and your luggage when it's in checked gear? Man, they're crazy. There's one instance where it's going on the conveyor belt and a big old electric arm essentially just punches it and it pushes it over to the side. And if your gear is in there, Oh man, you're screwed. So rule number one is never check in your gear. Always have it on you as carry-on. So another added benefit of traveling light and having everything fit in your backpack is that if you've ever been over there and if you're traveling and you got to ride in the public transit, you know, like the subway or on a bus, when you go during traffic, like where there's a big mad rush, man, there are a lot of people. You know, there are some instances where you're, it's like elbow room only and you're squeezing your way into the subway, otherwise you're going to miss it and wait another 5-10 minutes. This backpack in front of you, or even behind you, gives you a little more personal space. You know, so it forces people to at least be a foot away from you versus being all crammed up. Alright guys, so we talked about gear insurance, we talked about traveling light, now let's talk about traveling smart. First thing you want to do is buy yourself a roll of gaffer's tape. And this is uh, kind of like duct tape, but much better in that when you remove it after the fact it doesn't leave a sticky residue and it's just like duct tape you can take it out and you can easily rip tear it with your hands but let me show you why we use this and what we use it for now number one thing you want to do is blend in you don't want your big logos to shine you don't want to wear a big strap that says Nikon I mean it just screams come take my things you know I've got expensive things so you want to hide all the markings as much as possible so this is what we do. As you can see, this is our Sony A7. But from far away, you wouldn't know that it's a Sony because I've got taped up here, I've got it taped over here, and it blends in. It's just like a camera with no labels in a sense, a black label camera. And that helps a lot, you know. I think as thieves are walking by, they're just scanning with their eyes. Nikon, Canon, Sony. They see something, big brands, then you know you become a target. So use gaffer's tape to tape it all off and you can always remove it like I said without sticky residue. Number two is get rid of your regular camera strap. Not only you know is um, the regular camera strap I think less comfortable because you know it gets just chaps your neck and, and just keeps it real raw you know. We use shoulder straps but more importantly uh, these straps have no big logo markings on it you know you can get smaller ones than this this is actually uh, something that we use with our DSLRs but we also use this with this camera but like it doesn't say Nikon it doesn't say Canon there's no big old yellow branding on it that says Nikon you know version D700 D4S you know stuff like that it just screams come and steal me so be more be smarter about what you wear just get a regular black strap and you'll be good. Alright guys, so let's summarize everything. Number one, how to travel safe and smart. Number one, get gear insurance because you know the, the only worse thing than having someone steal your stuff is getting stabbed in the face, right? That's not worth it. So get gear insurance. Number two, travel light. Have everything with you. Uh, a, a small backpack, travel a uh, light, lightweight light uh, tripod, small camera, whether it's a point and shoot, a, a mirrorless camera, keep something small and inconspicuous. And then number three, make sure you blend in. Travel smart. 
cover your logos, get a generic strap. You want to blend in. You don't want yourself to be a target. You know, I think the more educated you are, uh, the safer you'll be when you're traveling. Hey guys, that's it for this quick tip. Hopefully this helped you guys out how to travel smart and how to travel safe. Now if you've got some tips, you know, just share it in the comments section. And I think everyone uh, that's seeing this will appreciate it. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks. Is it worth, you know, getting a knife in the face or getting stabbed in the gut? Uh, that's that's going to ruin your, your trip. <laughs> it's so gory, love. Let us know in the comments, okay? Alright, bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, guys, bye.